Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to be talking about interesting tool for web testing called Playwright. Quite interesting actually because we are floating away from web driver Selenium kind of tools to more modern tools which are better in terms of handling uh, timeouts, just, just regularly better just for modern web testing because Selenium I mean, it's been around for a long time, but it's quite outdated. I have a few videos about Test Cafe, which I've been using for my projects, for personal projects, as well as uh, uh, projects in the companies I've been working in. And uh, I believe it's good, but let's talk about Playwright. And Playwright actually was developed by Microsoft. It's quite interesting, actually. So let's go ahead and try it out. So the first thing you need to make sure is that NPM is installed. NPM is a node package manager. So if you're on a Mac, uh, you just uh, go ahead and install it using the homebrew, basically install uh, npm node package manager so as you can see for me the node is actually installed already but it's outdated so right now it's actually upgrading from this version to that version brew install npm does the thing guys basically just upgrades it for me so here it is it's installed if i type npm it's going to be showing this so it's there next thing we're going to do is basically install the playwright so the next thing we need to actually try out playwright itself right so let's actually go ahead and explore uh the tests and examples that they have right there. So I just go to my desktop folder and I create a folder for my Playwright test. Let's call it Playwright. Let's go ahead and open this folder. Now we just follow the guide on the website that they have right here. So we just use npm init command to create uh, the test repository, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, and let's just follow the guide that it provides. So we're gonna use TypeScript here. Where to put the end to a test? It's gonna be test folder. Add the GitHub Actions workflow. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Install Playwright browsers. Uh, yes, actually, guys, a really interesting thing about Playwright is that it installs the browser instances right on your local machine. You don't need to actually do it yourself because in, in, ca in case of Test Cafe, you need to actually install everything separately and it's managed by their own kind of setup. But here, you just do it by this. You press yes and for me i believe it's actually already installed but it might upgrade for me so let's see okay it's actually downloads the chromium and everything uh so i believe it's not actually globally installed on the system it's going to be installed right in that folder so let's see actually all right so it actually installed everything guys and it already provides all the commands that you need to use to actually run those tests which is really helpful so just compare this to web driver where, where there's actually a lot of confusion going on and everything but here no problem at all for example let's actually explore the folder uh, yes so what we have right here, package.json, let's open this up. You see, there's Playwright test version and everything. So Playwright test, this one is the latest version. And we can actually go to the test folder. Let's go ahead and see. So it actually has the example.spec.ts, which is actually TypeScript. So let's go ahead and see. So as you can see, it's a really, really typical test kind of file. So it has import from Playwright test. Then it is actually says homepage has title links to intro page and it just opens up this page, Playwright at Dev. Then it expects to have a title Playwright. Then it actually creates a locator, which is basically connects this to this one and expects this one to have this attribute. Expect it can start to have this attribute, yes. So, and then it actually performs the click and then expects this URL to have an intro. So expect this URL to have this kind of uh, stuff here. So it's really, really simple, nothing actually complex. Let's actually execute those tests. How are we gonna execute those tests? Easily, we're just gonna use this command right here. So it's gonna execute this one in Chromium browser. Okay, it, it basically passed. And notice guys that this actually runs all those tests headless, which means it does not launch the browser in foreground, it does everything in the background. So if you want to see the report, we're gonna use this command right here. Open the report, show report. As you can see, it has a report. And if you click on here, you can see all the steps. So basically we can see it before hooks. It actually opens a new page. And then it goes to this page and go to Playwright at Dev. All those kind of stuff. After hooks, it just has the browser context closed, which means just close the browser. Really, really simple. Uh, let's go ahead and close this one and see if we can use other browser. How about Firefox? I'm gonna select Firefox right here. The same thing, it just passed. And it actually run all those tests in uh, Firefox instead of the Chromium. Really, really simple. I just love the simplicity of this one. 
If we go ahead and see the examples and the test examples, we're going to see the demo to do app example. Now, if we basically open this up, we're going to see it basically has much more complex kind of tests here, testing a to do a web app and has more complex things just like page go back and all that. But it, it's, it's again, it's really, really readable. Everything is quite simple here and there is no need to manage the timeouts, which basically is the main problem with the web driver and the setup. The setup is really, really easy. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos about those automation tools we're going to use for web testing. This one was a playwright and I'm actually going to go ahead and explore more uh, about this one because again I've been using Test Cafe for some time and I like it but this one also really really promising. That's that's what I think. So thank you and bye bye.